from 2014. Sydney was a very young colony when a young Canadian set out from Lake Atabasca in Canada to find a route to the Pacific Ocean. He was 24 years old, working as a furrier for the Northwest Company, and had decided to follow a river now called the Mackenzie River after Alexander. On this day, he reached her mouth in 1789, but not the Pacific Ocean. He had founded the Arctic Ocean instead. He had found the Arctic Ocean instead. He persevered, however, and reached the Pacific in 1793. Then he went to Scotland and married a 14-year-old heiress and cousin. His 1789 achievement happened on the same day Parisian citizens stormed the Bastille. And so one foot stepped to liberty, another to freedom, and another to madness. <coughs> On this day in 1791, Joseph Priestley, who felt the French Revolution was a good idea, was run out of Birmingham. In 1798, the Sedition Act was passed in the U.S., making it illegal to write, publish, or speak malicious statements about the U.S., yet another reason Obama has not released his identity proofs. In 1865, Europeans finally climbed the Matterhorn. In 1881, Billy the Kid was finally killed. In 1933, Nazis outlawed all other political parties in Germany. Germany. On the same day, Nazis passed a law, force, um, a law for forced sterilization of people deemed genetically inferior around the world. Many prominent businessmen admired Adolf Hitler for such actions for years after. In 1965, Mariner 4 flew past Mars, taking pictures. 1969, Nixon stopped big denomination U.S. currency. 1976, Canada celebrated Bastille Day by ending a capital punishment in 2003, Washington Post journalist Novak outed a CIA ground operative after publishing articles critical of the invasion of Iraq. That's it for today. I don't see anyone at the moment, so if you come by this video at a later date and you like it, like it! Also feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.